another wonderful night at the club tonight. Everyone was there. We were all on martinis. So many martinis. <laughs> Yes, I remember that.
The diary. It's moved. Someone's been here in the night. <gasps> My money. Good God. Someone's been here. Here in my room. Someone's been here. Someone's been here. No, 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 nothing's moved. He hasn't been back. I am afraid. You're afraid. You know this body. This dingy, dreadful place. How can you live here? I couldn't. But then, I do. Don't I? It took me a while to figure out what I am. Now, who the hell are you? Yours? You? Joe. Joe, yes, I named you Joe. You're the, you're the man. I am not the man I could never be, which tells you all you need to know about me. I, I want to know more about you. Oh, right back, right back. S Stephen.
Just in case you're hungry when you wake up, I know you don't eat like I eat. Here's some decent fresh food for you. And some booze. Ginger tickle, isn't it? So, so I got you some. All the fresh stuff will be in the fridge in the kitchen. You help yourself and let me know if there's anything else you'd like. Anything at all, Stephen. at all? Well now, you might flick a duster over this place from time to time. Oh, not that I'm fussy, you understand? And if I am, it was you what made me this way, so I feel completely guilt-free. <laughs> oh, and fabby about the food you left, but where is the kitchen? You make this place any way you want it, Joe. My stash is in the wardrobe. I never go anywhere, so there's loads and loads of money there for whatever you want. You go for it. And not just for the room. You get yourself some new clothes. Oh, enjoy.
Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy!
again just couldn't. Because, well, frankly, old chap, because he wasn't you. It's a bit inconvenient, but over all these messages and replies, I, I've fallen in love with you. Ah, Joe, dear Joe. I would never have said anything if you hadn't, but but, I feel exactly the same. I've tried not to, God knows, but the way I feel when I read your writing, I'm just so happy. Your sense of humour, your style, just everything about you. OK, you have no taste in hats, <laughs> but apart from that, you are just fabulous in my eyes. Dear me, me has no taste in hats. This from a man in the black trilby. Let's not stretch reality too far, shall we not? Although how we stretch reality from this particular situation of ours... <laughs> I have no idea. You make a good point about reality, but I'm beginning not to care all that much about it. About reality, I mean. I care an awful lot more about how you are, what you're doing, how you feel. Just normal love stuff, I suppose. Though I wouldn't know. I've never been in love before. In my life. I'm walking about with a secret smile on my face. I think everybody thinks I've gone mad, and of course they may well be right. I prefer to think you're going sane. Otherwise I'm going round the twist as well. You've got me all of a dither you have. I pour over every word of yours. I even love hearing about your truly awful office life. What? What the? No, 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 you don't. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. Stop it! Stop that! I so want to cook you a nice meal and sit here with you, enjoying it together. Well, we can't do that, so we'll just have to get as close as we can. I'll cook, then vanish, then you enjoy.
ate it. It, it was, there, there was love in that food. And the mirror, you could see me while you were eating. But it wasn't you, it, it was just me. Poor Joe. I was trying to make you happy. I was trying to make it as close as possible to us sitting down together sharing a meal. But you're right, of course. It was only you again. And I'm not you, and you're not me, and never the twain shall meet. And I don't know how much more of this either of us can take. And I'm not you, and you're not me, and never the twain shall meet. This is never going to change. It isn't fixable, it isn't sortable. It can't get any better. It can get worse, of course. Love can turn to hate. I don't want that for you or for me. Most of all, I, I don't want it for us. One of us has to go. The other can build a life for himself. You can do this, Joe. I've never been able to do it. Never had a life till I had you. Thank you for that, my dear. Thank you for the laughter. And most of all, thank you for the love. It's been wonderful. But it's time for me to go. Burn the diary. It's over. When I go this time, I'm not coming back. Have this body. Have my job if you want it. They'll never notice it's you because they never noticed me. Have fun. Have a life, Joe. Do all that lovely, noisy living you so enjoy. Enjoy it hugely. So, burn the diary. Do this one last thing for me, my Joe. Do it knowing that I must leave you because I love you too much to allow you to become unhappy. Goodbye, Joe. My Joe.